So hello everybody, it's Hammy here, and today it's not a GTA video, it's a Rocket League video. I'm gonna teach you how to get yourself more crates in Rocket League. Now this is kind of aimed at Xbox players, but it can be applied to literally any console. So guys, just a quick break in the video, I just wanted to say that only not 0.2% of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you could do me a big favour and click subscribe, it would mean a lot to me and it would just mean that I could, you know, progress this content even further and do bigger and better things in the future. That's all from me, back to the video. What's going on guys, it's Hammy here and uh, we're gonna get straight into the video. So the first step to getting more crates in Rocket League is to complete the daily and weekly challenges. Now this is especially good if you have the uh, Rocket Pass because then you will get all them extra challenges which don't get you crates but get you leveled up which gets you crates. You feel me? Now the ones you get anyway without having the Rocket Pass will automatically have ones that get you a crate. Um, there's different rari rarities all the time and if you complete I believe 22 challenges uh, in the week or in the month or something you get like three different crates so it's a really easy way of getting crates that's like probably the best tip on this list and I've just handed it to you as the first one but you want more the second step is a bit of a weird one and that is to link your Twitch Prime account to your Xbox account or your Rocket League account whatever it is you use and watch the official Rocket League streams this will allow you to unlock drops every so often. Um, personally, it's not a method that I implement, but I have done my research, and apparently it's a thing. I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you can read up more on it. I'm not really fully clued in on it, but apparently it's a way of getting free drops. So, don't take it from me, go read the, uh, the link down below. Tip number three is to play more games. Now, playing more games means you can level up, which is why I said the thing about having the Rocket Pass. If you're a really high tier already in the game, I'd recommend just buying the Rocket Pass. It will help you get more crates and help you get more stuff. And if you save up enough points each Rocket Pass, you can just buy the next one. So you only have to pay for it once. Now guys, I only have four tips on this list and I've already done three. And this final tip is to consider trading. Now Rocket League used to have a feature where you could physically trade your crates with another player. So if you had an item and they had a crate, you could give them that item and they would give you a crate. But I don't know if that's a feature anymore, so I'm not trying to suggest it. I am, however, suggesting that instead of getting crates, you just trade for the items you want. It's much more secure and uh, much easier to see what you're about to get. But people do like the suspense and the surprise of opening a crate and seeing what they get, or opening a drop, as it's now called. So, the other three tips that I've mentioned before are probably your best bet. There is also a method, however, to trade up your items. So if you've got loads of low rarity items, you can just trade them up and see what you get. And that does include that suspense and surprise that I talked about with the drops, but not to the same effect. There are going to be a specific rarity, whatever the next rarity up is, and I will leave a link to my video on how to do them trade ups in the description below and in the cards up above whatever side they may be on anyway guys that's all from me i hope you have enjoyed if you have please remember to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace